And now it is story time with Trevor the Water Bottle as he goes to ancient Egypt and finds out all the things that happened there. Hello everyone. Man, I am sure glad that I am back from my trip from Egypt because my owners, I mean, I really thought for a lot of reasons that my owners were just not going to survive at all, you know, because a lot of crazy things just happened, such as them being trapped in the desert for like, five days then they went inside a tomb and then and then anyways I'll, I'll start from the very beginning and tell all of you guys just what happened so anyway as the story begins my owner Kyle actually works at College Humor in New York City and as he got into the office you know he was just kind of working on like some College Humor stuff like drawing pictures or making a really hilarious video or and all that stuff just whatever they do there and so anyway his friend named Jacob comes to him and says, hey man, do you want to go to a bar sometime, man? You know, they're having happy hour from like one to midnight, man. I mean, do you want to go? There's going to be a lot of beer and, and, and a lot of tequila there, man. You know, do you want to go, man? And so anyway, then my owner Kyle was like, yeah, sure, why not? And so anyway, then around six, they started heading to the bar. And what happened next was, Absolutely crazy, but really funny. So anyway, as they were at the bar, they, they started drinking like seven beers and all that stuff. And unfortunately, they got pretty wasted when they were at the bar. And so anyway, they were so wasted that this one strange guy appeared and said, Hey, do you want to go to Egypt? It's very nice there at this time of year. And so anyway, they didn't really know what they were doing. And so... You know, and they didn't really think straight, and so they were like, sure, we'll go to Egypt. You know, how much does it cost? And so then the guy was like, I don't know, it doesn't cost very much. I'm just going to give these plane tickets to you for a dollar. And so anyway, the next day, my owner Kyle then called College Humor up and said he was taking five weeks off. And so then him and his friend, you know, then went on the plane. I think they went on United Airlines, I believe. And so that plane took them to ancient Egypt. And unfortunately, well, it was a big culture shock for them. And unfortunately, things did not start out very well. So anyway, as they got to Egypt, they didn't unfortunately know the currency very well. And so as they got out of the airport, they unfortunately walked, you know, to uh, Cairo. And unfortunately, as they were walking around Cairo, things seemed pretty peaceful at first. But then, you know, his friend... You know, my owner's friend, you know, then saw camels. And he was like, yo, man, let's go on the camels, man. You know, and unfortunately, they got on the camels without paying for them. And they started riding off. And so then this one, you know, guy, you know, saw them. And was like, hey, hey, that's my camel. Come back here. Hey. You know, and so they were, so they were hopping on the camels. And the camel was going too fast and making a bunch of camel noises and all that stuff. And so, and so then what happened was the camel was going so fast that they ended up getting bonked off by the camel. They landed on their backs. <laughs> so anyway, as they got back to their hotels, they actually stayed in this really fancy hotel that was in downtown Cairo. And then they really liked the view that was there. And so, anyways, um, but then before that, you know, as they got bonked off the camel, they were end up okay, but unfortunately the camel actually ended up spitting in their eye, and unfortunately one of the Egyptian people had to wipe, you know, a clean cloth, you know, and, and started wiping their eyes really clean, and so they ended up going back to their hotel, you know, smelling like a pig and all that stuff. But anyways, you know, as they got to their hotel... They wanted to go to a place where there was a lot of beautiful and stunning girls there. And so they were looking at the map. And so then he went to my owner, Kyle, the, the friend that was there with them, and said, Hey, man, there's this really nice beach that has girls there, man. We need to go there, man. And sure enough, right after they got clean, they started going there without really thinking. As they got to the beach, they started hitting on a lot of beautiful and stunning girls. But unfortunately, the girls didn't really speak English that well. And so they really, unfortunately, couldn't really understand them. And they, I mean, they looked at their dictionaries a couple times to see what those words actually meant. But they never really got to finding that out. And so then they went swimming in the ocean. And unfortunately, the, a lot of the people at the beach told them not to swim in there. And unfortunately, 
my owner's friend ended up getting attacked by by a shark and all that stuff. But unfortunately, he didn't get bit or anything like that. They just kind of saw a shark fin and all that stuff. And they just kind of swam out of the ocean. And so then they went back to their hotel room and they started going around where ancient Egypt used to be. And what happened next was going to be a lot more crazy. So anyway, after that beach incident, then they wanted to learn a little bit of history about Egypt. And so then they got on some more camels that they didn't pay for. And so then they started riding on the camels around like where the pyramids and where the big giant pharaoh type statue was. And so they were like exploring around and all that stuff. And then his, and then my owner's friend then said like, hey man, I think we're lost, man. I don't think we're supposed to be here. And so anyway, what happened was they got off one of the camels. Actually, no, they got bonked off again by the camels, but luckily they landed on the sand and the sand was pretty soft. And so then they got up and then they found one of the pyramids. And then the my owner's friend was like, hey, man, let's go, let's go inside the pyramid, man. I mean, we we'll might find some treasure and all that stuff, and then we'll come back to the United States with, like, $17 trillion, man. We'll be, like, the richest people on the face of the earth, man. And then my owner's like, dude, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's not go in there. There could be snakes and other things in there. So anyway, as they went inside the pyramids, I believe... Before that, there was this one Egyptian police officer that saw them go in there. And I think he said in a different language, he said, Hey! Hey, don't go in there! There's a lot of dangerous things in there! Stop! And so, anyway, then my owner and his friend went in there anyway. And so then they turned on a flashlight and they started exploring around the pyramid. And they saw a lot of mummies and dead bodies and all that stuff. And then they saw, like a lot of booby traps and all that stuff. And then my owner's friend is like, yo, man, no telling what could be inside these ancient ruins. Maybe my girlfriend snuck in here and died like six billion years ago. And so then anyways, then they were exploring and all that stuff. But then, you know, they fell into a trap door. And then what happened next would really shock you. And so anyway, as they kept on exploring a lot more, you know, my owner's friend was walking around, you know, the tomb a lot. And so... Then they fell into the trap door and they were like screaming like little sissy girls and they were screaming going like ah! And then they landed on their then they landed you know you know you know flat you know and then they saw this really nice jewelry you know i think it was like a diamond or of some sort and so then they were and so then my owner's friend was like dude man look at this diamond we're gonna be rich, man. We can move out of our apartments and maybe get like a mansion or something. Like, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like one that's like out of the city and maybe move to the suburbs. And then we can get like girls there and throw like parties and all that stuff. And then my owner was like, dude, I don't think we should touch that. But anyway, he ended up touching it anyway. And he was trying to do it like the old Indiana Jones trick. Unfortunately, though, it did not work out so well. And so then a lot of the needles were like shooting right at him and all that stuff. And so then my owner's friend, you know, he was getting so scared. He was like, man, we gotta get out of here, man. You know, all this stuff is happening, man. And so then the big door was closing on, closing in really fast. And so they dived under it. And so then what happened next was then they heard this sound, you know, that was like a big boulder, which ended up being one. And it was like going, Achoo-lom. and so then my owner turned back and was like, oh no. And so then the boulder started chasing after them. And it, I mean, when I saw it with my own one eye, it sounded like it hurt. It was like something out of like Indiana Jones or something like from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And so then they were running away from the boulder and they were like screaming really bad, but then they ended up surviving. And what happened next was pretty awful. So anyway, as they got out of the uh, Egyptian temple, I believe, I think it was like one of the pyramids, but anyway, as they got out, there was a lot of Egyptian police officers that were around them, and unfortunately, both my owner and his friend got arrested by them, and so then they went to the capital of Cairo, and so then, you know, the police officers, you know, they, um, they took them to like, the, I think, the, to the president of Cairo, and so then they like said to my owner and his friend in a different language that he was trespassing on historical property of Egypt. And so then what happened was they were sent to like a jail, I believe. And so then my owner, you know, was trying to say like, please don't arrest us and all that stuff. And what happened next was going to be pretty funny. 
So anyway, as my owner and his friend were in the Egyptian jail, then they heard these other Americans that got captured by the Egyptian police. And so then, you know, I think they were like younger people, I believe. And so then what happened was, you know, the Egyptian president's son, you know, was, you know, unfortunately liked them. And he said, you know, and I think I might have overheard this, you know, and he said, in 30 years, I will make her one of my wives. <laughs> and so then the girl was like saying like, no, I cannot possibly be your, you know, you know, you don't want, you don't want me as your wife and all that stuff. And so then unfortunately, they unfortunately got sent to an Egyptian jail as well. And so then the Egyptian president's son was just laughing and all that stuff, you know, and it was just not good. And so my owner and his friend heard all that stuff going on. And so then they were just shaking their head and, you know, and disbelief. I mean, and I was just laughing inside the backpack. So anyway, then they tried to escape from the jail, and they really succeeded. I don't know how they succeeded, but, like, they broke one of the steel bars, I believe, with, like, some sort of rock. And so then they started running, like, man, we gotta get out of here, man. We gotta get out of here, man. And so then what happened was then they got caught by the Egyptian president, and he was like, where do you think you Americans are going? And so there was like, look, and then my owner was like, look, man, I'm really sorry that we snuck into your uh, historical temple and all that stuff. Is there a way we can make it up to you? And so then what happened was this kind of will sound strange, but then they actually gave the Egyptian president some crown royal whiskey. And then they started drinking like, I believe like 17 shots of Crown Royal whiskey. And so then the Egyptian president got really wasted. <laughs> So yeah, long story short, you know, my owner and his friend, they were drinking, you know, 17 shots of Crown Royal whiskey. And so then what happened was, you know, the Egyptian president, you know, he was, you know, not, you know, he was just not thinking very straight. And so what happened was he was going like, oh, all you boys are fine. You, you guys can leave. I will, I will not press any Americans, any charges at all. And so what happened was he ended up, you know, you know, laying down on his bed and I think he ended up falling asleep. And so what happened was my owner and his friend, you know, they had to go to the airport. And so then, you know, my trip kind of ended, you know, with my owner going back on the United Airlines airplane. And so what happened was they, they went on the airplane. And so we went back to New York City. And well, long story short is that we, we then made it home in time and all that stuff. And and overall, he didn't get fired by college humor. The end! So there you have it. That was my trip to Egypt. And, um, yeah, it was a very wild trip, you know, with my owner and his friend causing a bunch of trouble around the, around the country there, you know, going to beaches where they didn't really know how to speak the language, then trespassing on Egypt property and going into the tombs and finding treasure inside and then getting chased by a big boulder that was like from Raiders of the Lost Ark and all that stuff and and then and then riding on camels without paying for them and it was just a very wild trip from trip from start to finish and, and all that stuff but and then also what happened too that I never got to say before I said the end was they actually ended up getting trapped in the desert for six weeks but they ended up surviving though anyway goodbye everybody and that's my story Hey everyone, thank you for subscribing and uh, make sure that if you do travel to Egypt, make sure that you pay for your camel rides and also make sure you don't go inside the pyramids or the pharaoh because the temples are very dangerous. Happy New Year everyone.